So, you like gaming and you want to raise money for charity. Well, you can actually do both together now and I'm going to give you the advice on hardware, software and setup so you can do just that. Let's check it out. Hey guys, my name's Matt Cully and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna run through some tips and advice for setting up your own live slash game stream for charity. I actually recently did a 24 hour gaming stream for charity. I did it for the Rocking Horse Children's Charity and we raised over 1,100 pounds. It was incredible and due to that, uh, Rocking Horse actually got in touch with me and said, do you mind putting together a video uh, on how you did it to get encourage other people to raise money for them. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And Rocking Horse are an incredible charity, guys. They supply life-saving equipment to the children's hospitals across Sussex. And right now, with no marathons or anything going on, live streams slash game streams for charity are an amazing way to raise money for charity. So if you're considering it, then do go and check out Rocking Horse's Just Giving link down below. It'll take you straight to their Game for game for Good link down there. So go and check it out if you're thinking about doing this. Now I'm gonna give you an idea here of what we're gonna run for in this video. So if you need to, you can jump to these particular points in the video if you already know some of the other stuff. So first thing, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background in my channel. Then I'm gonna tell you about the hardware that I recommend, software that I recommend and then a setup so walk through just giving and OBS etc and then after that I'm gonna give you some tips and advice so I'm gonna quickly give you some background into the channel so the channel has been going for about 11 months and we mainly focus on Pokemon pack openings and giveaways guys but about six months ago I think I got into live stream pack openings and that then led me into game streaming as well on the channel and it's very new to the channel but I recently did a 24 hour game stream for the amazing Rockin' North Children's Charity and it was incredible and fantastic and we raised a ton of money and I loved it so much it was so enjoyable um, but this channel really is normally a Pokemon focused channel uh, so you know this is very new to me to do this like tip so I hope I hope this generally helps you and uh, now if it does help you then do please consider hitting the like button and giving it share around some mates and maybe encouraging them to raise some money for charity because what a great way play some games raise money for charity come on it's a fantastic way to do it okay let's talk hardware guys and uh some of these items are just recommended rather than actually needed uh but we're going to run through them anyway so number one and you are going to need this is a pc and i recommend something like an i5 fourth gen or better and at least eight gig of ram i myself have an i5 fourth gen 8 gig PC and when I did my 24 hour live stream when I played League of Legends during that for like a couple of hours uh, it really struggled to get that 60 FPS and the game graphics had to be turned way down to make it work so that's like minimum spec guys so yeah see what you got maybe you can use a laptop maybe you can borrow someone else's PC after that, this is a must have. You need to get yourself a webcam because if you're streaming for 12 or 24 hours, the people donating are gonna wanna see who they're donating to. And there's no better way to do that than getting a webcam. And uh, at the minute, unfortunately, webcam prices are very high. Due to COVID and everything, there's a lot of people away from home. So webcam tiles have gone up because they're video calling their families, they're doing meetings, etc. So webcam sales have really gone through the roof, but you might still be able to pick yourself up some decent stuff, like even non-branded stuff of eBay. I think you still got stuff for about 40 quid and it'll be 1080p 30 FPS. That would be my recommendation. Uh, but I'll chuck links down below, but uh, do have a little hunt around eBay. I, everyone goes Amazon, but eBay is cheaper for the same products. It's just you might have to wait three or four days for delivery. And if you're not in that much of a rush, Wait and save yourself some money. After that, I think you need to get yourself a USB microphone. Like this little one I'm using right here, it's on a boom arm. You do have mics built into webcams. Not all do, you have to check if it does. But the audio on webcam mics is really poor. And if you're trying to engage with the people during a whole stream, I recommend some half decent audio like this is not amazing like this was a 30 pound usb microphone i think and then the, the arm as well i can't remember it came with it or not i might have to buy extra for like a tenner um it sounds good you know it's clear obviously it's not the best around you still get some background noise and some echo 
but it is pretty damn good. And uh, this is a newer one, uh, uh, newer or however you pronounce the brand. So I will chuck a link in it below, but I highly recommend you pick one up. Just, it's easier on the ears for the people watching your stream. After that, I actually think, guys, it's worth having dual monitors when you're streaming, especially for that longer period. So you can have your PC set up with one monitor being your PC and the other monitor being your games console or the screen that you're playing your game on. The idea is you'll have your YouTube or Twitch plus your like OBS or streaming software on one monitor. It just makes it so much cleaner than having it hidden behind the game because your your stream might cut off while you're playing if, you, if you've got the screen in front of it. And you're not gonna know unless someone texts you and goes, by the way, you know there's nothing coming through. So at least by having one screen with always showing what's going on on the stream, you just kind of can counter those problems as soon as they happen. Now this is a pretty important one if you are planning on streaming your games console gameplay, Xbox, PlayStation, Switch. You need a capture card and I recommend the HD60S. It's, it's good value for money for what it does. It's still over a hundred pounds, I know, so it's not cheap, but like, you know it's gonna work. It's what so many streamers do. If you just go YouTube right now, Agate HD60S, it's everywhere. What it does is it takes the HDMI of your whatever console through it, and then it passes it out HDMI to your monitor. But then you have a USB cable in the box that comes out and goes into your PC, and then your PC can see the image going through it and relay it to your streaming software and you need something like that you can't just plug your console straight into your pc um, there's some other ways i think you can do it with, that uses your wi-fi now if you're streaming and using you're going to put so much strain honestly yeah, i don't know if it's going to last for 24 hours so at least this you've got a nice solid platform to do streaming and you know you might get into streaming afterwards so it's worth the investment now these two options the the other two things I'm about to say in a minute are, uh, you know, I recommend them, you don't need them. One of them would be a, a pair of headphones, guys, because if you're playing a game, you wanna hear the audio. The problem is if you have the speakers turned up, everyone's gonna hear what's coming out of the game audio via your mic, plus they're gonna hear the game audio through the, you know, the streaming software, so they're gonna get an echo. And 24 hours of that, I pity the people watching, so I recommend that when you're playing, get your audio to play out of just your headphones. And if you don't have some, just pick up some like, uh, if you're doing it on PC, you are gonna need to get some USB headphones or ones that have a splitter to mic and stuff. Or maybe you're lucky and your PC's got a headphone and mic input combined jack anyway. Uh, I don't, so I've got a decent set of Steel Series Arctic 7 Pros. They're fantastic guys, really highly recommend them. And the last item would be a light of some kind. And the ones I'd say, especially if you're streaming with a webcam and it's behind your monitor, get a little halo light on a little desktop mount. You can get them from 10 to 20 quid with a tripod, like a little mini desk tripod. And it just gets a nice even light across your face and it'll pick you out from your background. Otherwise, if you just have the light in the room, it'll look horrible and yellow. And uh, so by having lights just makes the stream look so much nicer in your webcam. So there are the hardware options that I would suggest. If I've missed anything in particular, then you know, comment down below and let me know. Okay guys, let's talk software. So you're gonna need like three pieces of software. Number one, you cannot do it without it. You need streaming software. So you're gonna need OBS. This is the one I recommend. It's been going for years. One of the massive benefits of this, because it's been going for so long, there are so many videos on YouTube on how to set this up. So if I don't explain something very well, literally YouTube, how to set up OBS stream or anything like that, you'll find countless videos, stuff really up to date as well. And it's fantastic. It can take plugins from all sorts of places. You can add all sorts of alerts through it. It's fantastic. It's what I use. I love it. It's completely free to download. So check out the link below. After that, you are gonna need a Twitch or a YouTube account. You literally can't do it without them. You need somewhere to stream your content to so people can watch it. I myself use YouTube. I'm gonna be doing a bit of Twitch as well soon. Um, but I'm not gonna show you how to set these up because uh, I assume most of you watching probably have a Twitch or a YouTube account. But if not, just head to their webpage and just create your account and get going. And then the last part you are gonna need is you are gonna need a Just Giving page. You're gonna need somewhere for people to donate to. Now I'm gonna actually walk through the Just Giving page. I'm gonna set one up in a moment and then I'm gonna walk through about creating alerts from it and adding them to the OBS software. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do. Now uh, I have linked Just Giving down below, but I've linked a particular fundraising page. This is the Gaming for Good by Rocking Hills Children's Charity. You can head to that page and it means that everyone that does 
fun, gaming fundraising for Rocking Horse. All their totals get linked together. And as a team, we can raise a ton of money for them. So do check out their link below. You'll see my little face down there as well where I raise money for them on my stream. So if you want to get any ideas of like what to write in your description or anything like that of your Just Giving page, then do feel free to go and check out my page and get some ideas and inspiration from that. So that is all linked down below. So hopefully I will see your names down there very soon. Okay, it is setup time, guys. I'm going to talk you through the Just Giving setup, the OBS setup, and adding those amazing alerts so that when you receive donations, they come up on your live stream. So what you're going to want to do first is head to justgiving.com or head to the link in the description down below if you want to raise money for the amazing Rocking Horse Children's Charity. If you hit that link, it will bring you straight to this fundraising page. If you've done it and raised money for someone else, the process is exactly the same, guys. As So keep fo follow along through it and you'll see what I mean. So if you've come to this page, what you want to do is hit start fundraising, hit start in the gaming, then you want to go and select in the drop down for some reason it even though you select gaming it hasn't automatically populated the event type and then just go ahead and fill in all the details uh, as they say on the website once the details are filled in just hit create your page and there you go your page is created now you're obviously going to want to go and customize this and make it your own for the minute i'm going to leave it like that but we are going to hit edit page and we're going to bring this page up here because once our obs is set up this tab here is very important so let's go and open up our OBS okay so we're in OBS now you can see obviously I've got a lot of stuff I've already created and set up and now what you're gonna want to do yours will be blank here is you're gonna want to go to scenes and hit plus and I'm gonna write test and we're gonna create a blank scene and then within this scene is where you put your sources so your webcam your display your capture card your alerts everything goes within this source panel right here so we're going to start off we're going to say we're streaming from the pc um so if we were streaming the pc we would go display capture and we would you guys would have to create a new one i already have it made so i go add existing and i select main and i selected this monitor display you would select if you've got one or two whatever monitor uh to display uh, if you want to display your games console with a capture card, you need to go to video capture device and you need to select create new yourself and then in the drop down box you'll find the capture card. Mine's already set up so I just go add existing and I add the HD60S. And then if you want to add the webcam, you need to go to video capture device once again and then go to create new, call it whatever you like, webcam and then go and select the correct one uh, mine is obviously webcam and I add it none of these feeds are showing anything in a minute because I'm actually using the webcam and another bit of software to record what you're seeing right here so it's not working but anyway once we have had those set up the basis of your stream what you would then do is you would basically let's put my display to the front you would then drag and move imagine this is your webcam panel you would drag and move your webcam resize it lay it where you want it to be you would then obviously take your background you know if you're if this is your game capture and you don't want it to be full screen let's say you're going to go for a funky layout and you want to move it around a bit you could have something like that you know game up here face down there you know or you i don't know have fun get creative at this point with your layout i like a full screen with a smaller webcam as you can see just like i am now right so once that part is done you want to add your alerts to this so to add your alerts what you need to do is go into this part make sure it's at the top by the way this is quite a strength when you add stuff these are layered so that's at the back that webcam sat on top and then the screen will be sat on top of that. So if you add your alerts at the bottom and you can't see the alerts, well, that's because they're behind everything else on the stream. The alerts need to be on the top. Okay, so we're gonna hit add. And then to add alerts, you need to go and add a browser source. So within this list, find browser. And then we're gonna call this test one. Uh, obviously call it what you like. Hit okay and you'll see this and you'll see it needs a URL code for somewhere to find a browser source. And that URL code, if you go back to your Just Giving page, is within this part, Manage Your Live Stream Overlays. Go ahead and click on Manage Your Live Stream Overlays. Now, I've obviously done a few different uh, 
different things in here and if you have already as well there'll be a part in here edit selection and you need to pick the page that the alerts are going to come from so this is the one we just set up as a test so we'll make sure it's that hit next this is where you've got your target amount we're going to say a thousand pounds that we're going to try and raise which would be incredible uh, then there you go within here this is where you're going to find all your links to add to your OBS software so this donation link here is one that you use directly on Twitch and you populate panels with. If you would like, I believe you can also add this link uh, to the bottom of uh, your emails as well, I think. Uh, then after that, you've got a progress bar. This one's really cool. So what you would do is you can firstly edit these. So uh, you can, oh, this is just sample amounts. It will show you what it looks like as it goes in. Pick your color schemes, uh, font sizes, etc. Once you've done that, hit save. And then you're gonna wanna copy this link, head to your OBS, paste it into the browser source that we've got open there. I'm gonna uh, change this to 1920, 1920, get it right, 1080, hit okay and there you go we have our progress bar now obviously that's massive you don't have to do it that big uh, you can resize these change it around and you can let have move this progress bar anywhere around your screen you like for this we're just going to stick it up the top i actually had mine i quite like putting mine above my webcam um as well but anyway, you have your progress bar in there. What we want to do now is probably look at adding some alerts. So when someone donates, we want to see how much they donated and it maybe bring up a funky picture or an animated effect. So, and that's really simple to do with this system. So again, we're gonna add another test. I'm gonna put a test alert. Good job I can spell today. And we need to get ourselves a URL. So we head back to our just giving page hit alert box and look at that funky but we're gonna go and find another one so you'd hit edit within here you can make some customizations to the color of the text that come through etc font size blah, blah blah but to find this image or a image that comes through as your alert you need to search this thing called Giphy and what you can do in there is I could just type the word funny in hit search and there you go there's a ton of different images and stuff that we could have show up and let's pick something interesting let's go for this little fat cat right there and uh, yeah so as you can see there's a cat getting stuck in a, in a uh, cat dog quite like that you can then also add some audio as well if you like um, what you would do is you find a website they've got this they offer the service of saying to use free sound so you would head to free sound find a sound and add the url to it here and then when the alert comes up it will play the sound through you'd hit save and there's your url so you're going to go and hit copy head back to your obs paste that in there bang but you're gonna notice it's just a black box that comes through. There's not much you can see there. It gives you an idea, but you don't know where that image is coming up, right? So what you could do is, a cool way to do this, is half screen this along with your Just Giving page, just like I've done here. And if you hit the edit button, again, on the alert, there's a test button. If I hit that, there you go. And as you see, you can do a little test donations come through and the tests and it's a great way and you might go actually I want that quite a bit bigger you can make it bigger smaller etc uh, you know it's just great ways obviously you can make changes when you input them not pick 1920 1080 um, but that's how you add your alerts uh, let's go back full screen uh, you also have stuff like a donation ticker that you can add so uh, recent donations run across the top bottom of the screen however you want um, recent top donations you can change quite a few bits about these as well uh, you can kind of lay out how you want their name to appear you could add some extra stuff in if you want to have the word thank you uh, followed after their names on the ticker you could add stuff like that hit save and let's see if that worked and there you go recent donation Charles 10 pound thank you Pete, thank you. And you know, you could add stuff like that. And again, you would copy the URL and add it as a browser source to this page. When it comes to putting this link, I highly suggest that you put the link 
to your donation page, which by the way, your donation page will be this. The link to donate will be this link here that you directly from your page. You wanna put that at the top of your video description. So whether that be on YouTube or Twitch, it needs to be obvious. Now I know Twitch has a panel system. So when people are watching your streams, you have panels and you'll have a big donate button. YouTube don't have that functionality. It will purely be a link. But there is a bonus to this. If someone's drawn away from your page uh, to donate, so they've clicked the donate button, you can make your stream play on your donation page. And it's quite simple. Once you've actually set up your stream on YouTube or Twitch, etc., you can come back here. Once there's actually a URL for your live stream, hit add live stream to my page, select the platform. So I'm going to do YouTube. And then you'd simply copy and paste your uh, YouTube URL for your live stream into this and then when people come to this page your live stream will be playing at the top of your page. So if the live stream start playing where your image is there now the live stream would start playing as a video within your just giving page which is a fantastic feature for people especially if you've got family or anyone that doesn't have YouTube and doesn't really know how to work it if they've managed to donate on this page then they could also see the stream playing through which I think is a great option. Okay so that's everything when it comes to setup on my side let's get into some tips and advice that I've got for your stream. So tips and advice. Number one, you need to plan in advance. So don't watch this video and then go and stream tomorrow for 24 hours. You know, get everything set up, set a plan in place, decide what games you're gonna play and get a bit of a schedule going on during the video. You know, uh, you know, bits and bobs, just make sure you put the time in first to plan what you are gonna do, it's so important. Number two, you've done all your planning, you've everything's going, you need to go and promote it. You need to let people know that you're raising money for charity. Like you can go and do this on Facebook pages, you might be able to find some groups that will allow you to post on it. Obviously don't go spamming things all the time. Be, you know, every other day, put a little reminder out and build up, maybe a little bit more in the in when you get closer to uh, the date of the stream, you know, but definitely get out there and promote it. Let people know, get family involved, everyone. You know, that's why it's important to plan first and then you can start promoting as well and raise, by the time your stream comes around, you might have raised half the money already. Me, for example, I raised 500 pounds before my stream started and then the rest came during the stream and that was really important to get that first initial donations in. So make sure you get promoted. Number three, uh, this is an intro. I'd actually say go and watch other people's streams to get ideas of how their layouts are, you know, what they were doing with their streams. And I'd watch videos on OBS and the streaming softwares and stuff like that as well. So maybe you wanna make your layout your own, which is very important to make stuff unique. Watch videos on YouTube, honestly, if you YouTube right now, OBS stream layouts and stuff like that and how to make them and free download. There are countless videos on how to do this. Um, so yeah, go out there, make it your own, and you know, just go and watch other people's videos first. Number four is very important, and that is test the stream. Don't come to the morning of the stream and hit go, and then hope that it's all gonna work, and all of a sudden the audio's not coming through. People are gonna be watching from the moment this stream goes live, and if you haven't got audio for the first half an hour, you could be losing donations, so it's very important to test the stream first. And with YouTube and Twitch, uh, you can actually set up a private stream where you can share the link to people to watch, so you can get everything going a day before, whatever, get it all set up, and do a little private stream to your friends to see how everything's coming through, the frame rate's right, is the audio good, and do all your testing. But yes, make sure you test prior to going live. Number five would be mix it up. So what I'm saying by this is I'll give you an example. I stream for 24 hours. Every three hours I stopped playing the game and I opened Pokemon cards and I gave them away to the people watching the stream. I did mini giveaways every three hours during the stream. And that really helped break up uh, the monotony of playing one game for 24 hours. Because bear in mind, you're not just playing for yourself. You have to, you're entertaining and people are engaged, you're engaging with people for 24 hours straight. It's tough. So I recommend breaking it up, mixing up the stream and doing something a little bit different every few hours, just changing up. Maybe just turn the game off, pause it, go full screen and just chat to the stream for half an hour. Get them to ask you questions, ask them questions, that sort of stuff. Mix it up. Number six, 
got that right. It's very, this is really important actually. You need to take breaks and this ties into number seven. You need to try and take breaks. Do not feel guilty for taking five minutes every hour. That's exactly what I did. Every hour I took five minute breaks and then took a half an hour break at lunch and a 20 minute break at dinner. Do not feel guilty. People will understand. You're spending 24 hours staring at a screen. It's not great uh, for your health. So, you know, it can give you headaches. You know, you want to make sure you can sustain the course of 24 hours. Take those breaks, go in the garden, walk away, go and get a drink, whatever. You know, set a B right back screen up. Get a countdown timer going on it as well. That's what I did. It really helps. No one will, you won't lose donations because of it because people appreciate that you are taking a break because you've been on for such a long time. So make sure you do those breaks. And number seven, this is health, basically. Just consider your health when you're doing this. I made the mistake and I had eight Red Bulls, two Monsters, and about four coffees during the 24 hour live stream. I felt so rough towards the end. Like, it, it was really bad. I should have spread these out. I shouldn't have been down in Red Bulls from minute one. You know, I, I you know, should have, probably eating some healthier stuff during the stream, but I was eating crisps and sweets and I got takeaway pizza, you know. I, uh, yeah, literally just, you need to think about that health. And it's important about that as well is that you plan what you're gonna eat during the stream. You know, plan that in advance as well. I missed that at the start, so plan that. But yeah, just think about your health. You know, you're there to try and raise money for charity. Do not make yourself sick doing it. So drink right, drink plenty of H2O, and you know, keep hydrated, and it will keep you much more engaging to the people watching. The last two hours of my stream, I was, oh, I slumped. My head went down a couple of times. So, um, but there you go. They are my tips and advice uh, for, you know, live streaming for charity. So there we have it. Hopefully this has inspired you to go out there and game for charity. And if it has inspired you and it has been useful, then please do hit the thumbs up button on the video. And why not share this video with your mates? You never know, you might be able to get four of you together to do the 24 hour stream as a group. That would be awesome. Now remember you can raise money for the Rocky Hills Children's Charity at the link in the description down below. I'll be keeping an eye on that fundraising page to see if any of you have gone out there and started raising money for Rocking Horse. But even if you haven't, comment below with the charity you're gonna raise money for and what you're planning on doing. I'd love to try and come and get involved and watch some of the live streams that you guys are doing for charity and might inspire me to try something different in my streams. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.